Starches are long chains of glucose that are found in whole grains, potatoes and various other food items. But all starches are not same. Some of them are digested whereas some of them pass through our digestive system without any change. The starches which pass through our digestive tract without any change are resistant to digestion and therefore they are called resistant starch. Resistant starch helps in improving insulin sensitivity, controlling blood glucose levels, reducing appetite and have various other powerful health benefits. There are five types of resistant starches. The first type is ones which are resistant to digestion because they are enclosed within a cell wall. Few examples are whole grains, seeds and legumes. The second type is the naturally occurring resistant starch which are there in banana and raw potatoes. The third type of resistant starch is produced through a process called as retrogradation wherein the starch containing foods like rice or potatoes are first cooked and then cooled down. The fourth type of resistant starch is produced through various chemical processes. And the last type of resistant starch is produced through a chemical process wherein a non-resistant starch is combined with a type of fat which leads to a change in structure and makes them resistant. Resistant starch plays an important role in maintaining various metabolic conditions. Firstly, it helps in improving insulin sensitivity, reducing cholesterol levels and reducing appetite. Secondly, it helps in increasing the absorption of various minerals that enhances your overall health. Several studies have confirmed the benefits of resistant starch on insulin sensitivity. Overweight or obese individuals, if they consume 40 grams of resistant starch for a period of 12 days, their insulin activity improves by 19%. How can we include resistant starch in our diet? So it's difficult to know the exact quantity of resistant starch that you are taking in your diet as there are no set guidelines about the daily intake of resistant starch. In fact, the packed food labels also don't specifically mention the amount of resistant starch. But still, there are two, three ways by which you can ensure including resistant starch in your daily diet. The first one is incorporating at least two types of resistant starch food in your diet, like oats and ripe bananas, cashews. The third is the retrogradation process wherein you can increase the amount of resistant starch in a particular food by first cooking it and then cooling it down. You can do this in case of rice and potatoes. The third one is including supplements. So supplementation is also a great way to include resistant starch in your diet. If you are trying to break a weight loss plateau or improve your high blood glucose levels, then including resistant starch in your diet is a very good idea. Apart from improving your high blood glucose levels and insulin resistance, it also helps in managing constipation, improving gut microbiome and reducing colon inflammation.